Hi. <laughs> Trish says, let's not start recording now because I don't have a plan. Don't have a plan. And not I like said, I ever do. But exactly. Look, all I have are sparkling waters. So we're ready for a road trip. Yes. That's it. That's it. I'm just, I need you to put this in the fridge for me and we'll go grocery shopping on the road. We're going to start heading down the one. Right? Right. If I walk in front of you, will I end up in the picture? Yeah. Okay. Walk slow. Walk very slow. Funny. Thank I'm, you. I'm like, oh, she's not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> One more week, she's not gonna last. Insane. It's totally insane. This is what I want to do when I'm tear dropping. Look at this and be warm. I'm like having the best day ever. <laughs> Like this is the best, one of the best trips we've done. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. It's just, it's a good trip. A good trip. What? Why? Okay. Let's get this in here. So, as Trish said, our plan is to head down the one. And we've done this before in season three, but now we've learned that with a little bit of experience, we we're kind of better, a little bit better at planning and where we'd like to stay and what we'd like to do and stuff like that. So Trish has done some research on some things we like to hit on down on the California One. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is, we alluded to in last week's Q&A that we were 50-50 on a motorized RV versus going the route of an Airstream. We've done a little bit more research on it. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. And the more I research, the less I like it from the perspective of total cost of ownership, depreciation, maintenance, repairs, warranty, fuel. Um, did I mention depreciation? So I think right now we aren't gonna head down that path and I can't get the numbers to work on paper and if I can't get them to work on paper, I don't know why I wanna go get emotionally attached to something. Um, so that's just kind of a quick update on that. We're pretty excited to get down the one. Uh, Charlie's pretty excited to go camping, so let's go get him a riled up. Hey, Charlie. Oh, he wants to go. You wanna go camping? Yes, he does. You wanna go camping? I came in here and all my stuff is not packed. I asked Trish about it. She doesn't know anything about it. You have some items that need to be picked up. I don't understand, what, what items? <laughs> Mark doesn't know how to pack very well. <laughs> He's like, why are my clothes still out of the bags? <laughs> how come they're not in the bag? Normally they're by the door ready to go. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna turn this off so you don't have to watch. Bye again. Okay, so long. So long, farewell. Good seeing you. Nice. you Bye, Caleb. Bye, Pop. Um. Trish is in rare form today. I just want to let you know. <laughs> so you need to. That's not true. You need to watch yourself. <laughs> watch Check yourself. yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so whose problem is it really? <laughs> See? <laughs> we are headed down to Big Sur area. We have been communicating with KYD Insider Ken, who is the utmost authority on this route mm -hmm. truly this is what he travels in with his family mm -hmm. and he really knows everything <laughs> how we ended up here <laughs> but somehow we ended up here <laughs> and so now we're just gonna just we're just gonna take a look we're just at looking. the 30 foot bunkhouse just to see if we feel like the layout will be accommodating to the three of us because we're only gonna have a car sim for 45 days mm -hmm. and if it is and we think it's gonna work for us then a KYD insider who you might remember Zach he's selling his 30 foot flying cloud bunkhouse that is immaculate 
Charlie, you like those stairs? Does Charlie like it? Yeah, Charlie likes it. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Okay. Sit. Sit. Stay. Nope. We found it. We found it. Man, we just need to figure out how to get the lights, lights. on. Sit. And I'll come up here. It'll be so cool. Because I have my own room. Dude, if you can fit up there. Xbox goes right when, there. For the 45 days we're with Carson, I would love it. Okay, so we came here to determine if this was going to be acceptable before we started, like, calling Zach and saying, all right, hey, let's see if we can let's do something. Move forward. So did we accomplish what we came here to do? Yeah, I would be perfectly happy moving into this and going on a around-the-country tour. But we're talking about more than that. We're talking about just keeping this. And so it's around the country tour and then some. I would love it. Okay. Wait, wait. So let's do the outside. I like that. And then look. It's Charlie like, needs zero to get in this rig. Uh, and then, how do you slide it back? Oh, yeah. It's completely legit. Wow. It's so, like, artistic. Yeah. It's so... Mm, <laughs> Shut the door. Let's see how the door functions. Oh, that's cool. A little latch. A little latch. even have a window. Oh, that's nice. Wait, let me see the window from inside. Go. Here's the best way to describe driving in California. There is an hour and 12 minute slowdown. You're still on the fastest route. That's, it's so true. that's, I've heard that this three times today. Really nice. Sleep, Trish. Amazing. <laughs> you explain to everyone what is going on here. Explain yourself, Lucy. <laughs> you have some splaining to do. You have some splaining to do. Okay, it's not what it looks like. Well, it's kind of what it looks like. It's not <laughs> really what it looks like. But it's not really what it looks like. We we're traveling through the city. We passed San Francisco. We we're right around San Jose, and there was no like remote camping. You can't like pop up a tent in a parking lot. No. So, and you're not allowed at a Harvest House unless you're self-contained. And not self an RV park's awkward in a teardrop when you're not self-contained because you've got RVs to the right and left of you and this you're not. This is a state park it is. or boondocking situation. So with that explanation, where are we going now? Now we're going to Big Sur and then there's some wonderful camping there. So we're gonna camp tonight and I'm gonna eat an avocado because I'm starving. And that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it, all right. Are you here Someone. for the drive? Yeah. yeah. Alright, there's a 10.50 entry fee, please. Warming up winter's chill. Somehow I feel better than before. Alright. I'm loving the tea tops off. You just put them in the teardrop? Yeah. This is awesome. Totally awesome. I wish I had some seat heaters on. <laughs> <laughs> Little cold, but really great. Let's do this. Silence and sunshine. don't want to leave. <laughs> do we have to do anything else? Can we just stay here all week? <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. I'll just start doing my own tours. They'll be like, lady, you have to leave. <laughs> 1050 was for like an hour. You need to go. Leave. Uh, Hello, 
slipping through the blind. Okay, a couple things come to mind. This is the second time we've been to Big Sur. Yes. The first time we came here, we were in utter shock and awe. Do you totally. remember? Oh, it was completely overwhelming. We were blown away. And all we did, we were concerned about two things. Just seeing Bigsby Bridge, getting a sense for what it was like. We were dealing with the wind. And the, recording it. The kids were much younger and, and getting drone footage. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. And, and we got it. And, and that was great. But here's what's coming to mind as I'm walking down here. It's such a different mood this mm -hmm. time because we've already been here. I feel like we're not coming here to conquer it. We're not coming here to like check a box. We're just coming here to enjoy it. Yes. And it's a little slower. Mm -hmm. And Trish said, hey, let's go down to the cove. And we're like, cool, we'll pull over and go down to the cove. And so what comes to mind is that a lot of times when we go through the whole country and we leave somewhere, people say, you didn't do anything. You missed it. You should have done this and you should have done this and you should have done this. Like the first time you go somewhere, it's like just a tidal wave. It is. Yes. And it's fun. Yes. Without checking every box, without conquering it, you're just going there and having fun. Maybe the second time you go there, you can peel the onion away and dig a little deeper like we're doing now. Yeah, so I think two things. You're talking about external pressures from maybe someone who's been there before and someone saying, you should have done this, you should have done that. Or maybe FOMO, fear of missing out. It's a very formal term. Yes. And that's an internal thing where you're worried that you're not doing it yeah. right. So yeah. what we're really trying to say is boil it down and have your own trip. Yeah. Slow down and enjoy yourself. Don't let other RVers make you feel bad that you didn't do it good enough or you're not in the right type of rig or you're traveling too fast or there's no way you're going to see it all in only a week or there's no way you're going to see it all in only your summer vacation yes because you could spend the next seven years rving and not see it all or you can go out for a seven day trip just do your trip yeah and i think that's what we've learned from traveling so long and getting the amount of feedback is that we get is that we're just happy doing our trip and here we are the second time in big sur going one level deep and we can come back here four more times and and have four different trips anyway one tip pack a picnic you need to be here <laughs> yes. like as long as you feel like you're just to soak it all in but you're gonna need snacks it's amazing it's amazing <laughs> anyhow just a little random pat smalley tips for rv good boy That was it? This is Big Sur That's the State Park. I don't know what it is. Here's where we find out that they have no availability. And I really hope they do because this is fantastic. it is really cool back here. I'm really glad we came. Really hope we can get in. If not, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. I guess we're going up to Pruitt Ridge, but I really do not want to go up a 4x4 road at night and set up camp. No, no, we're going to backtrack and go to the other. Register. Oh, there was a campground when we first came in. Yeah. All right, here's a registration, so fingers crossed. On another note, I'm kind of loving the the stuff taking off. This Whatever is, this is, this the roof. It was really fun. It was, um, it was fun. What did you say about that? Okay, one night, one night. Because I really want to get down to... Um, Pismo. Pismo Beach. Yeah. And then what? what's the other one with the sea lions on the beach? Mm. Oh, yeah, so Pismo, Slow, and Solvang. That whole section. You really need to come to the Central Coast. <laughs> Okay, those guys are really super helpful. This is $35 a night. Firewood, which we need to go get a bundle, was $10 cash. And um, he said McWay Falls is gonna be great right now with the sun. Okay. So I say we just go look at the site, but don't disconnect. 
go to the falls, and then come back and drop it, and then Tap House is a mile that way. Oh, the opposite and the falls, direction? And the falls is only 10 miles away. Let's do it. So let's just do it. Let me get some firewood. Let's do it. Trish has this thing where she always races the boys inside of a tunnel. I don't know where it started. I think maybe in Alaska, but she usually wins because she, the boys forget the game. And then when the boys aren't suspecting, Trish bolts for it. It's pretty funny. Have the boys ever beat you in a tunnel race? Oh, well, he just beat me there because I kind of gave up. But oh. no, tunnel races I usually dominate. <laughs> Little Yosemite is what Pfeiffer State Park has been named by locals, but people from around the world travel to see it. Driving the California One will offer the most scenic ocean cruise in the state, with each turn offering something new and special. This 80-foot waterfall is the culmination of three rivers, and when its crescendo falls directly into the ocean below, it's called a tide fall. The Cascade is special because there are only three tide falls in North America. This one is named McWay, after an original homesteader in the area. Its wonder is naturally fragile, and with powerful water eroding the cliff, its profile can change rapidly. But this happened in drastic proportions when California's central coast experienced its most rainy season in the 80s creating a devastating mudslide that erased a large part of the cliff, stealing with it the full-time title of Tidefall. Now, McWay is a Tidefall only two times a day when the sea rises to meet the falling water. So one of the things I love about this setup are these teardrop, not teardrop, but these string lights that Amazing. plug into USB. But then on top of it, it just makes like the perfect lighting set. I mean, there are people that spend a lot of money to create this type of background and perfect lighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just like it because you can hang it between the tent and the, mm -hmm. and the teardrop. You yeah. can like make your little lighting areas, yes. which are a necessity when yeah. you're camping. So after the falls, we went to, what was it called? Big Sur Tap House. Yes. It was really good. Yes. Thank really. you, Ken, yes. for the recommendation. It was Very really good. good. Trisha said, we're kind of on the straight and narrow now with our plan, but Trish said there was a hot dog that was this. It was 10 inches. Big. 10 it was, inches. It was, it was 10 inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it was still big in hot dog world. And that was connected to a deli. So if you're staying here in the state park and you need like butter like we did or yeah. things like that, plenty of things there. We're really digging the state park. This is a good one. Amazing. This the best drive 
forever. Mm -hmm. And then you can stay in a state park for $35. Where can you stay in California for $35? Nowhere. Here. Nowhere. Here. 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 Okay. The other thing I was going to say is if you don't have an RV, and there's a lot of people that watch the channel that don't have an RV, and you're looking for a vacation, fly it up here and rent a car and come up the one. And there's on this drive, there's all sorts of places where you can stay, like inns and things. I'm sure mm -hmm. you have to make reservations way in advance because they don't look big. But this is this has been a lot of fun the a last couple seriously days. Seriously cool experience. So consider consider a California road trip up the one, staying at various inns or Central with your RV, Central here. California. Yes, Central We're talking California. About Central California. Anyhow, all right. So I think that's it for this episode. Yeah, we it covered was good. a lot. And uh, now, to next Sunday for you, but tomorrow morning for us, we're going to pack up here. And we're going to continue heading down the coast. Um, maybe the Hearst Castle, Pismo, lots of stuff to do still. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. Well. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you next Sunday. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Let me add something. Oh, Let me add Caleb, something. Wants to, Caleb would like to add something. So, as you know, we were hungry on the way to go get our dinner. So... Simply, what I did is I looked under the seat because you know I organized everything. Mm -hmm. I cleaned everything up, mm -hmm. so I basically shoved it all under the seats. Gotcha. Yeah. So I found some two-week-old chips, and I found like a and a two-day-old guacamole can from a leftover from Chipotle. Did you say my son? Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm not a I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I you know I scooped some of that for some appetizers. It was great. So that's, that's probably what, that my favorite thing to, about the that's Jeep. That's what you had to add? That's what I had to add. Okay. Um, why don't we leave you with some pretty amazing footage of California, and then we'll catch you next Sunday.